Welcome to Twisted Dice, I'm your host Darren. Today I'm going to be taking you for a little pet project I've been working on and that is a bolt pistol which is better known more for the 30k side. As you can see it's a stunning bit of kit and I can't wait to get on, build and paint this. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It does help us out massively and hopefully we'll be coming back very, very soon with some awesome battle reports. 3D printing for most people, it's about printing off cool models. For ourselves at Twisted Dice, for us, it's about props and making some terrain scenery that you won't necessarily be able to buy from the shop. With this 3D print, unfortunately, it didn't go together properly when building it, so I had to use some Gorilla Glue to stick this all together. As you can see, I had a bit of a challenge using some Millie Putt just to fill in those gaps, just to make it a nice, smooth finish. Very important when you go to sand down any resin, make sure you use the proper uh, equipment to make sure you don't breathe in any of the excess materials because it can be very, very toxic. With the bolt pistol, I base coat it black, Chaos Black from Games Workshop, and then I used a chrome paint that I picked up from Amazon. There will be a link in the description below so you can actually uh, purchase the same one as myself. Mephiston from Games Workshop is quite a nice, strong red. Uh, if you do a couple of coats of it, it comes up really, really nice. Second red I go in with, and this is probably my favorite red of them all, and this is the Vallejo uh, Red 71102. It's such a nice, rich red. Uh, if you do a couple of coats, depending on how you do the Zenith highlighting, uh, it, you get a nice, real dark red and it just comes out absolutely stunning. And I tend to use this a lot upon my world eaters because I find this red absolutely stunning. Once everything's down, I then do a, another Zenith highlight. And this is so I can then pick up a brighter red to pick up, really pick out those edge highlighting. Once the model's coated, I go back over again with the Vallejo Red. Uh, this is just to, make, to pull the two colours in together and bring up the uh, shadow in as well. For my edge highlighting, I go in with a Troll Slayer Orange from Games Workshop. As you can see, I'm trying to keep the paints that I'm using, the paints that you can pick up nice and easy for yourselves, whether it be from a local games workshop store or from a local hobbyist or a game of Amazon. So before going into the oil stage, I do a gloss varnish over the actual model itself. A, to protect the model itself. B, for when using the oils, the oils will actually run nice and smoothly around the actual model itself. And as you can see, once the model's hit to the corners, it will just fall, flow nicely into the recesses.
once this is done, you can tell that I'm very excited. One, I've got a nice, awesome 30K pistol, add it together with my Gore Child, all of a sudden, a grown man playing with his grown up toys. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> if you like the content that we push out of Twisted Dice, and say, if you could do me a massive great favor by hitting that like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you again on another painting video. If not, we've definitely got battle reports coming up very soon. I've been your host, Darren, and I'll catch you all soon.